Good morning, Saturday, July 31st, 2021. A little after seven in the morning. We're at the Austin T. Blinksley Natural Area. I'm gonna be doing, a, I think it's called the Highland Trail Loop. There's actually two parking lots for this place. This one here, and then up the hill just a little ways, there's another one. And we're right next to the Toby Hannah Creek right here. Oh, here's a little jam I stumbled upon that I wasn't aware of. Was that right here there was an amusement park from 1930 to 1955, the Harrison Amusement Park. Interesting. I didn't even look to see which way the trail is. Probably that way, up there. And, uh, I don't want tobacco here. This is a nice little picnic area. I think this is some kind of a, uh, yeah, like a little pond fountain thing. Not working right now. Come on over here, buds. Oh, it's really nice. Bunch of tables. Wow. And then we do some uh, charcoal grilling. Oh, there's more tables over yonder there. Some benches. Who knew? I've driven by this a couple hundred times. And I never knew this was all back in here. Never knew. I don't know how much use it gets. No tobacco, no alcohol. I'm considering how new pretty much everything is, except for that old wall, which could just be a creek wall, or could be part of the uh, Harrison Park Amusement Park. All right, note to self, uh, hook that one up. We're just getting started. Still to behind the creek. This thing's moving pretty good. We just encountered one gentleman that was out here fishing. Still trying to find a sweet spot. I saw that across the stream before. The red out here pops. There's a lot of it. All this red flower. the rocks and the roots and the roots and the rocks. What is that? That's an old refrigerator. I lose a shoe in this muck. I like the uh, wooden step stones. <clears throat> All right. I already got wet sneakers, and we've already encountered this a couple of times. But I was aware of this before coming here. Somebody gave me a review saying, don't wear shoes that you don't want to get wet.
blazes that we're following, I guess, right now. And we're also got some orange ones over here. So only one trail came up on the All Trails app, and that's the one we're following. I'm sure there's other trails out here. <laughs> trail's been taken out by a tree. I believe there's a little path going around. So that tells me this trail gets some good use. Ooh. Let's care for the little bird chair. Pine Trail is the orange trail. That's the right. We're going to the left. It's our second split. We're just going to do all left. It's just another one of those figure eights with the uh, long neck in between the loops. I forgot to mention, I think it's 2.2 miles. And of course, we'll probably come uh, slightly above that. Highland Trail to the right, which is blue. We're going to come out that way because we're going to do this loop staying to the left. So we're going to see a couple different colors. Red, orange, blue. You can see a bench off in the distance. And if you can see that in the video, Falls Overlook. Okay. Right, this is the area identified as Falls Overlook. Got a couple benches, a few picnic tables. This is a family hike. Nice place to stop, have a drink, sandwich, protein bar. So I guess that was the uh, Buttermilk Falls. Kind of many of them, you know, it's great back there. As you can see that gentleman still sitting there. 
I guess this is better when uh, the foliage isn't all going in. Something else. What's wrong? Oh, got a stick stuck on it. All right, we're gonna go that way. Let's go. Through there, there's a few trees across the trail right there. Yeah, what is life without a few obstacles, right? What kind of journey is that? I must say, if only one truck in the parking lot, sure there's a lot of people fishing out here. Probably seen about 10 already. Toe behind a creek. My uncle just told me it's actually called the Big Toby right here. It's a little narrow through there in spots. And it opens back up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're now on blue. We're heading directly away from the creek, the Big Toby. This trail has many offshoots. Not sure if that's the proper word, term, phrase, but uh, little side trails will shoot off to the left and right. Just came out from right up there. And that was the bottom loop, the big loop. That brings us back into this neck. We're going to take up a little ways and then make it left again to finish off the upper or smaller loop. Where we came from before. So now we're going this way. We haven't done this yet. Pine trail, orange. I don't know what the hell this 
is over here. All right, this is pretty unique. So I would suggest if you're gonna do this trail, the whole trail, the double loop, bring a Christmas ornament with you and hang it on the tree. You never know what you're gonna find. You never know. If I would've known I would've brought something to put on the tree. That's really cool and different. Back down to the old bridge. So this takes us back out to the parking. This bridge needs a little love and attention. I hope done. I've got to mention it's a little cool this morning or sweatshirt for this one. Uh, 2.4 miles, an hour and a half. Very nice. It's getting busy now. It's getting busy. A lot of people fishing, people walking their dogs. Didn't see any remnants other than this very old wall of a possible amusement park. But uh, this we can investigate again. There's maps there. Let's see if there's maps in there. Well, that was interesting that there's actually a little awesome found over here. I've got glasses and keys. Whoa. 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 